What does the country's iconic Red Cross Children's Hospital and the Marina Martinique in Jeffreys Bay, Eastern Cape have in common? It comes in a small, committed 10-year-old package named Ariella Bridell, who attends Victory Christian School. She has an open water swimming record in check and she's doing it for more than herself. Uh, my name is Ariella Bridell and I started swimming when I was two years old with my swimming coach, Brenton Williams. Since I've ever started swimming, I think it's just that it's kind of grown onto me and it's just became easier and easier for me to swim. I don't know if, if my mom would answer that question, she'd probably say so that I didn't die and drown. I think with all my kids, when they're born, I, my first sort of fear is, oh my goodness, if I'm not watching you fall in the pool, what do I do? So I kind of wanted them all to swim and do swimming lessons, but that, that's where it stopped in the sense. It wasn't about, I didn't even think in my head about, I don't know, galas or world records or anything like that. Abriella is using her swimming talent to raise money for a favorite charity. By attempting to do the challenging Robin Island Channel, she's hoping to reach her two million rand goal. I am going to swim the Robin Island to be the youngest female to swim it and I'm going to break a world record. Well, she's prepared to do something to help others, uh, she's not just doing this for herself. There's obviously a record at stake but um, she's doing it for a greater cause than just that. Uh, Robin Island is probably one of the most iconic swims in the world and it's definitely the number one swim, open water swim in South Africa. You've got the cold water that you've got to deal with. The swim that Abriella is going to be attempting is a 7.6 kilometer swim from the island to Bloberg Beach. We can expect uh, some kelp at the island. There's a kelp bed that you've got to swim through before you can actually get going. And then along the way, you've got currents, you've got swell. We've got a boat with a shark shield, so there could be a bit of wildlife around. But all in all, it's, um, it definitely is the most iconic swim that we've got in, in South Africa. In other words, coach, the swim is no child's play. Abriella is paying her school fees and putting in the training and physio needed to make sure she achieves a goal. I wanted to raise money for a hospital because I thought that I should help somebody, help people that can't help themselves. Because if I was, if I was somebody in the position that they are in, I would, I would be thinking, please can somebody just do what I'm doing at the moment? So I am going to do that and I'm gonna help them. But she's a strong child, she's got a soft heart, um, she's very loving, um, yeah, she likes to give. That's what sort of child she is. Some of the children that will benefit from the funds raised by Abriella will not know her, but that doesn't stop Abriella from thinking about them. The thought of helping them keeps me motivated. So if I'm swimming and I feel like, oh, I'm just going to bail out now, I just think, but what am I doing for those children? The world has become very selfish and no one is really willing to help anyone else. It's all about what I can do for myself, how I can make myself better, and that's such a wrong attitude to have. So if there's something that you have as in a talent or something you can do, such as maybe swimming, take what you have and use it to help someone else. I think, I think it's very admirable um, and I think everyone that's young and old can look up to her as a role model. Very, very passionate about swimming to Robben Island and I think she'll really make it because she practices a lot and gives up her time for others and I really think that she's doing a really good cause. Um, Abriella is a very nice friend and she has a nice heart and she's very generous towards other people and I really love her. Abriella's schedule sees her train six days a week and consists of swimming in the marina in a 25 meter pool for stroke correction and going regularly to physio as all aspects of the swim are taken into account. Yeah, it all comes down to the preparation and her preparation's going well so far. We've been building up slowly but surely, so it's not just that something that we've just rushed into. So there's been two elements to this. One's been getting her used to cold water, and the other element is increasing her distance slowly but surely. So by the time uh, um, from December, hopefully she'll be ready to handle both cold and be able to do the distance. I train six times a week, three open water swims and three pool swims. I work up in the morning. I go with one of the teachers to school, then I get to school, I do my normal schoolwork, 
after school, I go swimming, go home, have a bath, get dressed and go to bed. Abraham Lincoln said that kindness is the only service that will stand the storm of life and not wash out. I dream of once going to the Olympics with swimming and I would like to be known as one of the really famous swimmers. If you know that you have to do something but you're just too lazy to do it, stand up for what you believe and do it because that, in the end of the day that's going to help you with what you want to achieve. And no matter how old you are, no matter how big, no matter how small, you can have the biggest dreams and you can make them come true.